this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I wanted to give you guys a little update on how far I've got this week. Uh, I've got all these coils on. Now I still have to connect the, the wires, but what I'm doing here is I'll have a, a ground clip for each coil. So I'll be able to just unplug the coil, check each individual coil. Uh, you might have seen that on the other uh, on the small box motor but uh, this is a definite improvement you can get to everything things in plain sight and uh, I've got four more to mount and, uh, and then wire it up but I wanted to show you I don't know if you can see right up in there um, the clearance on that is awesome I finally got this worked out the coils are square, they're in the exact position I want them, and I use the tool to do it. So the tool is going to be the, one of the first things I want to get you guys so you understand how the tool works. Basically, the tool fits on and allows you to move around and mark the positions. But when you take this back side off, this becomes a tool to drill the holes in the actual coil mounts and what that did is that made sure that spacing is I mean it is really as close as I would even dare get it and they're all the same because the positioning and squaring of the coils was done by the tool and then the mounting points that got drilled into these blocks I used the same tool so the spacing and the angle is absolutely correct and this is the first time I I really felt like this worked the way I wanted it to the other ones were close I'd get them in the ballpark let's say so it's kind of what's went on this week it's all about fixing these coils I have I've used some of the coils I had built and uh, all the coils from the cart motor were removed and remounted in this way that's why this piece here um, is on here instead of the kind you've seen me build that used strictly these but the performance is the same it's just me re repurposing the coils from the cart motor in order to get this uh, thing moving again so um, that's kind of where we're at I'll be posting more videos also got a tabletop for the big wheel and uh, a piece of plywood and so many things have changed using this tool that I'm going to go back and reshoot a short three video series on how to build the frame and how to build the wheel because it's streamlined so much it's made it so easy to build the wheel and the frame that using the videos I've I've already posted really is like the long way around now from, to me anyway so um, look for the new videos the next video you should the next update I should have this thing running this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out